Hi there. Today is April 23rd, 2020, and we are in, I think it's week six now of the coronavirus lockdown. You know, a lot of people I don't think foresaw this coming, but the real estate market is still alive and well. So then the question becomes, if you needed to sell your house right now, what virtual practices would you use to ensure that you, your family, and potential buyers are all kept safe during the process? Well, that's what the topic of today's video is. Don't go anywhere because when I come back, we're gonna break it all down and we're getting started right now. Hi and welcome back. I'm John Farron with Home Smart Lifestyles right here in Queen Creek, Arizona. You know, crazy as it sounds, real estate transactions are still taking place every day. So I invite you to call, text, email me, heck, I don't know, send a singing telegram, however it is you choose to communicate, because I've got your back when it comes to buying and selling property in Queen Creek and the surrounding area. All right, let's get to today's topic. Recently, the National Association of Realtors conducted a survey and what they learned is that most home sellers are okay under the present circumstances with having their realtor and some buyers coming through their homes to look at their homes as long as it's done under certain circumstances. The survey also showed that these same sellers are not as comfortable hosting an open house in their home, which is understandable given the health concerns regarding social contact these days. In today's rapidly changing environment, it is more important than ever that you have a digital game plan and an effective online marketing strategy when it comes to selling your house. Now one of the ways your agent can help with this is by ensuring that listing photos and virtual tours stand out from the crowd, truly giving buyers a detailed and thorough view of your home. So if you're considering making a move, virtual practices can help you win big when it comes time to sell your home. Now while abiding by state and local rules and regulations is always going to be a top priority, your real estate agent can still find ways to make your sale actually happen. Agents, like me, know exactly what today's buyers need and how to put the necessary digital steps in place. For example, according to the same survey, home buyers were asked what technology would be most helpful to them in deciding on a house, and here's what they had to say in order of preference. Now the top answer was a virtual tour of the home, followed by accurate and detailed listing information, high quality listing photos, and then an agent-led video chat. Now if after you've leveraged technology, you have a serious buyer who still wants to come and see your home in person, there are ways to do this in a safe manner. Let's go through a few of the guidelines put out by the National Association of Realtors. And again, always understanding that state and local laws and ordinances will always take a top priority. One of the guidelines I use with my clients is we limit the in-person activity. Back in the day, sometimes you'd have the buyers and grandma and grandpa and a bunch of kids, they all come through the house, but those days are gone, at least for now. So we limit it to the decision makers only. We also require the buyers to wash their hands thoroughly and use hand sanitizer, and we follow the CDC guidelines on social distancing. Now as a seller, there's a couple other things that you can do as well. Things like opening up all of the interior doors turning on all of the lights so that as the buyers come through, they don't have to touch those things and potentially contaminate your home. Maybe open up some of the kitchen cabinets as well. And then of course, once the buyers leave, it's always a good idea to go back through the home with your Lysol wipes and wipe down some of the surfaces. You know, buying and selling homes this way is, is far different from what we've been accustomed to, but in today's environment, it's the best way to do it, especially if you need to sell your home sooner rather than later. Nate Johnson from Realtor.com recently wrote, as real estate agents and consumers seek out ways to safely complete these transactions, we believe that technology will become an even more imperative part of how we search for, buy, and sell homes moving forward. Guys, it looks like some of these practices are here to stay. You know, with today's technology, pretty much any aspect of a real estate transaction can be done virtually. We have electronic signatures and FaceTime. We have Zoom video conferencing and video walkthroughs of homes. You can literally buy and sell real estate from the comfort and safety of your living room. Now, I would still recommend, however, using some of the uh, procedures we just discussed that you actually go and see the property in person. But with technology, it could be done that way. 
So then what's the bottom line here? Well, you know, things are changing rapidly. And with that, virtual strategies might well be your best option. You know, opening your doors up, so to speak, to digital approaches could be game changing when it comes to selling your home in today's environment. And then just one last comment on digital strategies regarding the virtual home tour. If you're uncomfortable having your realtor or a videographer in your home shooting these videos, you can actually shoot the video yourself and provide that footage to your realtor. Now I've got a free guide that I'm happy to share with you. It's got seven steps on how to create a great video tour of your home. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description. Feel free to click on that link, download that guide, and use it to, to shoot your own video tour that you can provide to your agent. And lastly, if you liked what you saw and heard here and you haven't done so yet, I invite you to hit the subscribe button, click on the bell up there so that you'll be notified every time a new video gets uploaded. That's all I've got for you this week. As always, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.